Hello everybody and welcome back. A few weeks ago I made a short video about this uh, little computer case um, which is made from wood on the laser and it's a uh, fairly cheap and um, it's well it's really functional. It's extremely small um, but you can actually get everything inside that you need. So this is a this turned out to be a really nice uh, little gaming PC and well Somebody um, said it would be cool if there was acrylic in front of these windows. And I thought about that a long time and I made some inserts and uh, experimented a little. But I thought, well, what if the entire case was acrylic? Because in the end, I wanted to leave these openings because they're very good for ventilations. And um, I, I like the design. It, it, it really pops. So I made this. This is the same PC case, same size, everything's the same. Um, slightly updated, but uh, it has all the same features. Placement of all the components is on the same uh, in the same locations it's just entirely clear and uh, this thing was extremely hard to make uh, it took forever and not only because of the uh, cutting of the acrylic which is slower than cutting wood no uh, because this is so many pieces and Gluing it together was just a pain. I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, documentation from this, uh, but but this is actually like a, I don't know, a 12 day job and I was working on it every day and it was just, um, some things were really annoying. Uh, for example, the places where I had to glue it uh, didn't come out the way I expected it and uh, the glue would just stink. It was really awful. And well, in the end, as long as you're not really, really close to it, you don't see all those imperfections. And I suppose when there's a PC inside of here, it's just going to be awesome. So uh, I'm going to basically dedicate the building of this PC, his own video, and um, leave it at that. So this is just going to be the expose uh, to this project and um, I'll follow on with the construction of the PC inside of here which is probably going to be an adventure in itself uh, just because everything is so cramped but um, I'm really looking forward to it and this case really looks amazing. So um, I'll leave you with uh, some of the documentation and uh, see you in the next video then. As you can see here, uh, it's really hard to see uh, because this is just so transparent. Um, the top layer uh, is not in place yet. I'm starting to uh, glue all of the parts together that form the base and the wall. And since all of these parts um, are basically dual layers, so they're made from either two identical or two, two very much similar parts, um, it is very hard to glue this into place without leaving any fingerprints or any other type of residue um, between them. I've made a number of uh, standoffs that look somewhat like this that I can place under the uh, case so it sits flat without uh, the protruding pieces actually going through the case. Uh, this is this is turning out to be a lot more work than I anticipated. Uh, the standoffs for the mainboard were very easy to glue into place and uh, I hope that when the mainboard sits in there it doesn't bend the acrylic on the inside too much because that would make the two 
um, the two acrylic pieces separate uh, or I would have to find a way to uh, reinforce it by adding glue seams um, maybe where the power supply is uh, where it's kind of a little bit harder to see uh, but apart from that well, apart from it being very hard to get it done um, it's actually moving forward very nicely uh, the thing that that's kind of a bummer is uh, the acrylic glue that I'm using uh, it, it really stinks um, it's even worse than using acetone uh, I did experiment with um, joining two pieces of acrylic with acetone uh, but I wasn't able to join them without getting bubbles in the middle and when I didn't have bubbles I had a lot of misting on the edges and it just tore up uh, the the laser cut surfaces so that didn't look really good so I am going to go with this glue solution which will be visible but only barely you you would have to get really close to the case to see them right so um, I am going to continue now the next thing that I'm going to glue into place is the uh, is the acrylic with the switch on it um, the part with the with the cut for the membrane and the insert for the two LEDs is going to come on top of it and um, so I can place everything correctly I have these little um, wedges I would still have the foil on so it's very easy to push them into place and to get them uh, to push the acrylic you want to glue uh, into place so it doesn't actually move anymore and uh, you can you can get the glue in there and it's going to form a, a, a nice bond between the two and that's what I'm going to have to do with all the rest of the parts so there's there's still some stuff to be made um, mainly the top and, uh, and and the bottom layers um, looking at it from here and uh, they have to be joined right at the end so I'm basically moving from the inside to the outside so uh, let's continue with this Well, the case is almost finished now and uh, this took a lot of time because um, you basically have to go one layer at a time or one wall at a time and um, since since the glue that I'm using um, it, it, it stinks like hell and it's it, it's pretty unhealthy to be in the same air so um, each and every time you just do one set of uh, connections and um, then you basically leave the room and come back five or six hours later so this is really taking a lot of time 
a lot more time than I had anticipated and uh, I have this uh, ultraviolet lamp in here because the glue uh, actually cures faster um, under UV light and uh, one one benefit of that is it stops smelling pretty quickly what I found out uh, but uh, the the quality and the the dosing of, of the glue is uh, is not what I expected so this causes a lot of cracking in the acrylic and that doesn't look great uh, it, it it looks well it just it just doesn't look as good as I would have liked it to look so maybe the next time around I'm, I'm gonna actually gonna use screws uh, to get all of the parts in place and uh, to tighten everything down or, or or do some sort of locking mechanisms or something um, I don't know from a distance it still looks really amazing and I can't wait to put uh, the the computer components inside um, if you get real close to it, I'm not so happy because uh, there are smudges from the clue. Like I said, it's really hard to get the dosage correctly. It would have been easier to put the to transfer the glue into a syringe and use that um, to make the to to get the things to bond up to have a lot less glue. But then again, the the instructions say that most of the glue is just going to turn into um, an almost invisible clear fo film. Um, it's just not happening for me, I guess. Uh, or I, maybe I just need to put it in the sun for for a day or two, uh, because that's what they say. They're, they're telling you that you're supposed to heat it up and put it into a very uh, UV-rich uh, atmosphere and um, basically then it, it cures perfectly so maybe I'm just doing it wrong uh, the only thing that I can see is that the edges of my laser cuts are just all crackling up and there's a lot of uh, a lot of bubbles forming in there so I'm not I'm not too happy with that uh, but it still looks amazing I uh, can't wait to put it together I think it's going to be uh, sturdy enough and um, yeah, let's let's see what <laughs> let's see what it looks like when it's together. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I'm finally done with this, and uh, I think I'm on day eleven or so, day twelve of the build. Uh, it it was just I would have done it different. If I'd known uh, how complicated gluing everything together was and um, how visible the the areas where the glue is, um, how how visible they would turn out. Uh, but apart from that, I think uh, it is it's functional. Um, it's going to be solid enough. I don't think it's going to to bend or break or. Well, let's see what's happened. What's going to happen? I'm, I'm not too sure of it, but I really like the way it turned out. And uh, the next thing, of course, is um, putting a PC inside of here and hoping that it works. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.